Let's say we're asked to find the product of the two quantities 3x plus 7 and 3x minus 7. We begin by recognizing that we have a sum and a difference, which in fact is equal to the difference of squares. All we have to do in this problem is square the first term, so we get 3x the quantity squared, minus, because it's a difference of squares, square the second term. So 7 squared. 3x times 3x will give us a 9x squared, and finally 7 times 7 will give us a 49, which ends our problem. Let's try another one that's similar. Let's say we're asked to find the product of 2x minus 6y and 2x plus 6y. Here you'll notice that the difference is first and then the sum is second. But the commutative property of multiplication tells us that this is not a problem. Even if the terms are out of order, where the difference is first and then the, the sum comes second, this is still equal to the difference of squares as a product. So squaring the first term will give us 2x the quantity squared, minus, because of the difference of squares, the second term squared, which is 6y the quantity squared. When we multiply 2x by itself, we're going to get 4x squared. And when we multiply the 6y by itself, we're going to get 36y squared.